everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another styling video and i feel like it's been a little while since i've done one but i do absolutely love filming these videos and i don't know why i haven't done one for so long but anyway i'm back with another one today it's another zara sort of dedicated one because i tend to normally do them sometimes i do varied but today's another zara one basically um and it's going to be a styling zara basics video you'd have already seen that in the title so you already knew that before i said that but anyway it's a styling zara basics video so i've got a few items from zara which i absolutely love wear them all the time and stuff and I just feel like they're absolute staples they are so versatile you can wear so many things so I thought I'd do a whole video based on them styling them in various different ways to show you the different ways you can style them that's basically what it's going to be and I've tried to pick things that Zara always sell or they always sell something similar at least so if you want it you can go out and buy it rather than selling things that are like sold for a month and then gone forever if you know what i mean but anyway that is today's video please subscribe down below if you haven't already because it means the absolute world um and go over and follow my instagram if you're not already as well because i post lots of things on my stories and things like that and keep you updated on there and yeah without me blabbering on anymore i'm gonna get on with this styling video and we are gonna get started and we're gonna get started with these these are i just feel like everyone needs these in their wardrobe so they are these two vest tops they do these in so many different colors in fact i do also have them do also have these in a nude one but I've forgotten to get it out of the drawer, so I might just quickly grab that now. Bear with me. Okay, so as I said, the first item of these vest tops, I've got a black, white, and a nude one, but they do do them in various different colours. They bring out new colours in the summertime and stuff, so brighter ones. But these, I feel like, are your three staple colours, your three neutrals. These are so handy. This is actually the first one that I got. Um, so basically, I'll just show you what the actual vest tops are. Let me just pop these ones there, and I'll just show you. So they're like these wide, kind of strap, scoop neck um, vest tops, and they have another layer of lining in the bra bit, or like in your boob area, so they're double layered there, so you don't have to wear a bra with them if you don't want to, because they're nice and thick. Um, they're a really good material, um, they're a really good material, they're really good quality, they are so flattering. So like I said, I have the nude one, and then recently I bought both of these because I just love the nude one so much, so I've got a white one there, and then also, let me just sort this out, this one's inside out. I then also have a black one, they're all the same, all the same material. They're a little bit kind of like scuba swimwear type material in a way, but only slightly. And um, that's probably the easiest way to explain them. All of these I got in a size small, which is the smallest size they do it in, and I'm a size six and I'm five foot five for reference. And these are just so versatile. We're going to wear these with jeans. We're going to wear them with wide leg trousers. We're going to wear them with shorts. They honestly go so much. They're also so, so good for layering. This nude one in particular, because it's quite similar to my skin tone. So if you're wearing like a white top or something that's slightly see-through, if you put this on underneath, it's not going to be that noticeable that you've got this on underneath because of the fact of the colour of it. Obviously, depending on your skin tone and stuff, but just personally for me, I find that it works really well. They're also good for layering in the winter as well. Well, you've got, they're really nice and thick so they're going to keep you nice and warm they're just so versatile I just love them and I'm quite simple in the types of tops that I wear if I'm going to wear jeans I normally just wear like a simple vest top with them and these are perfect for that so that is the first item like I said they can be styled so many ways um, I'm going to try and show you various ways of styling these items as well just to show you how versatile they are um next up what are we going to go for? We're go okay, I know what we're going to go for. Next up, we've gone for another thing that whenever I wear it in videos, I get so many questions on where I get this, where I got them from. Whenever I wear them in Instagram pictures, so many people compliment me on them or ask me where I got them from. If I had a pound for every time I got asked where these were from, I'd potentially be living in Mauritius for the rest of my life. Like, it's kind of crazy how many people ask about these, but it is also so nice. Whenever I wear them, people compliment me on them. They are literally... I this is probably the one item of clothing that I've had the most compliments on them. Whenever I wear them, at least one person has said something, if you know what I mean. Like, it's insane. It is honestly insane. So, if I just unfold them, I've just got them out of the airing cupboard because I wore them out for dinner the other week. Um, they are these wide leg nude kind of beige trousers. Now, I don't know if they still sell these. I got these a couple of months ago, but they do seem to be really popular. Um, so they might bring them back out sort of thing but just wide leg trousers from Zara in general what I love about Zara's wide leg trousers is the material I find if you get them from places maybe like PLT or whatever the material can sometimes be a bit cheap and it means they don't hang very nicely and I think for wide leg trousers they need to have structure they need to have shape and they need to hold their shape um, and to do that they need to be good material and good quality basically 
and these do just that they just hold their shape so well but not only these ones but other wide leg trousers from zara that i've shown i feel like the lighting is really really overexposed right now and i don't know why let me just try to sort that out i don't know if that's sorted but it's a sunny day today as it always seems to be which always just messes up my lighting but anyway um not just with these ones but with other wide leg trousers from zara i find they fit so nicely and they hang really nicely so not just necessarily these ones but other wide leg trousers from zara are so nice um but yeah these ones have a beautiful pleating detail and they're super wide leg where these are the white bralette with the white vest top that i just showed a minute ago you could obviously get some black wide leg trousers and again then do a black bralette black um like vest top whatever they're just super versatile basically and they are my compliment trousers i just wear them and i just know if i'm do you know what if i was in a bad mood or i was feeling bad about myself whatever chuck these on and walk down the street and someone will probably give me a compliment and make me feel great um they're just amazing and i just absolutely love them next up i'm going for a blazer um not just necessarily this blazer in particular but any Zara blazer, they just, again, with the quality and the way they fit, they always just, nine times out of ten, Zara blazers look really good. And they just fit really nicely. I just think the material, the shape, they just, they do it so well. And I know that so many people love Zara blazers. So this one I have in particular is a white one. Just for like the summertime, I'm loving a white blazer at the moment. I think it looks really nice with a tan and stuff. But you can obviously get different colours for different seasons or whatever, different occasions. Um, but just for the purposes of this video, I've got this one, but I'm kind of talking about Zara general, Zara blazers in general. This blazer I got quite recently actually, um, I got this in a size small, so it's slightly oversized on me. Um, they do still have it on the website, so everything they still have I'll link down below, and um, if they don't have it I'll try and find alternatives. But this is just a white blazer, it's got some shoulder pads in it, but they're nothing too major, like they're not like really statement shoulder pads, they just give it a bit of structure. Um, and it's just this white blazer, and this one can be paired with quite a few things. So first off, um, these are what they've paired it with on Zara. This is actually a little co-ord. Um, they're just these white wide leg trousers. They are a little bit big for me. Um, I got these in an extra small, which is the smallest size, but I might just get them taken in. And these, as a little suit with the white blazer, look so good. And Zara often do that. You can often get blazers with matching trousers. Or to be honest, you could just make it work with other things. If you had a black blazer from Zara, you could then buy some black wide leg trousers and wear them together and make it look like a co-ord. So it's not too difficult to do that. So first off, we're going to style them with these white white trousers make it look a bit of like a suit i love this blazer when i've got like not got on any um, i literally just like tripped up my words about seven times then i love this blazer with like nothing on underneath i think it looks so nice because it's a little bit of like a plunge neckline but not too much so it's not too revealing but it looks really nice to just have like your, your blah, 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 blah. i can't speak today looks really nice to have your chest and put your decolletage out just looks really lovely then this also with some like mum jeans or just any jeans in general again put something on underneath or wear it buttoned up as like a little kind of nothing underneath thing i think that looks really nice especially for drinks in the evening and then also this is just like a blazer chucked over a dress if you're going out in the evening and it's getting cold or i love when people wear like denim shorts little simple tops some trainers and then they wear like a blazer over the top i just absolutely love that so again another way to wear it not just like i said this white blazer but any blazer from zara you couldn't really work in all those ways and i just absolutely love them next up i've gone for an accessory and i've gone for this bag which we all know and love it is one of my favorite bags i've ever bought it was super cheap it was 19.99 for the bag and then literally like two pound i think for the personalization i did a tiktok about this it went kind of crazy i still get caught i did it literally like a few months ago and i still get comments now with people asking me about it and the main question that i get asked is what color font did i get because i got a dark brown font which matches the detailing here and because i did it a few months ago i can't quite remember and none of the pictures on the website look like this color but i think you just have to go for what looks like brown and then it turns up darker than it looks on the website i think just in case anyone asks me that because i can't quite remember but this is basically just a big tote bag it has got this little pouch inside it with a little zip on it and it's basically so versatile it's lovely neutral colors so it goes with so much work with this outfit that i'm wearing now works with jeans it honestly works with anything like you can just kind of chuck it with whatever you can take it to go shopping use it as a beach bag use it as like a uni bag or a school bag or whatever it is honestly so versatile i'm pretty sure they still sell it and I absolutely love it and I just felt like I had to show it in this video because I couldn't not. Talking of jeans, I could not show these in this video. These I picked up recently in the sale but they do normally just kind of bring them back out all the time. Um, so they probably will still have them. They're just basically some Zara mum jeans. I absolutely love the wash of these. I think they're a beautiful denim colour. 
and they're just kind of the perfect mum jean for me they're not too baggy but they're not too tight um i have these in a size six which to be honest i should really get them in a size eight so they're a little bit baggier but i actually quite like how the size six fits this lighting is just ridiculous um but the size six is kind of a little bit baggy but still a bit tight which is kind of what i like but yeah these work with so much with the white blazer with one of the vest tops honestly they go so much they're basic jeans and the color of them is just a classic denim so i feel like you can kind of pair anything with them because sometimes i feel like if you wear too light of a denim or too dark of a denim some things don't really work with it but i feel like this is a perfect mid wash sort of medium denim colour so kind of anything goes really pair with the bag that I just showed I just love them I feel like Jay do the blah I can't speak today I feel like jeans are an absolute staple and these ones I absolutely love they were $27.99 full price um but yeah like I said they normally bring them back out again I just love them they're a staple they go so much we love them now for some shoes I feel like I kind of need to do clothing at least one accessory and at least some shoes so I've got these I did also forget to bring up my pair of um high top Zara trainers that are downstairs but I wear them in so many Instagram pictures they go so much so many people have them and so many people love them and I can understand why they're comfy they look good and they go with everything I think they might still be selling them but I'm not 100% sure but again if not I reckon they'll probably bring out something similar again in the autumn winter time because they were so popular last year or this year i think it was this year but the start of this year so i didn't take a picture of them because they are another absolute basic i feel like everyone needs them but these i rave about clear heels in so many hauls these i love um any kind of clear heels will do but i just have these ones um for reference which are from zara and they're like these kind of lower heels with a little toe detailing here a big kind of clear bit here and then a clear chunky heel but zara do sell various clear heels and like i said any will kind of work but the reason why i love a clear heel is because they just go with everything it doesn't matter what color you're wearing whether you're wearing a print like an animal print or a design or whatever they go with everything and i absolutely love that they make every outfit work and these ones you've also got your toes out in so you can kind of paint your toenails to match the color of your outfit and stuff which will make it tie in really well and i just absolutely love them these are super comfy um i just love them but like I said any clear heels will do i'm a strong advocate for a clear heel and i feel like i could honestly write a dissertation piece at uni even though i'm not at uni but if i was i feel like I'd, i could write a whole dissertation piece on why clear heels are an absolute staple in everyone's wardrobe and why they need them and why they are one of the best things that the fashion industry has brought out and come up with because they are incredible and i love them and i literally most times i'm wearing heels i will be wearing clear ones because they just go with everything and now i need to stop ranting and raving about why clear heels are one of the best things on this planet since i spread honestly but thank you for coming to my ted talk about clear heels and why they are incredible and then lastly for today's styling video like i said i'm going to do another one for autumn winter time um so just bear with me on that one um i have a white shirt this one surprisingly i haven't worn for a while which is saying a lot because i used to like literally went through a phase of wearing this every time i went out um but i've got some other clothes at least so i can wear them but anyway this is a little bit creased because i haven't worn it for a while um it's just been hanging in the wardrobe that's my excuse and my reasoning this is just a white shirt from zara super super simple they bring these out every year they're just kind of called a poplin shirt you can get various different ones this that i'm wearing from zara this little cord um this little card that i'm wearing is from zara um and it's again a little shirt zara i feel like with their shirts again like their blazers they get the fit so right they just hit the nail on the head that's why i love zara um and this is just a simple white shirt like i said they'll probably bring another one out to this every year it's just such a basic whole point of the video styling zara basics um this i wear as a dress i wear it underneath sweater vests i wear it with jeans it will work with shorts it is so versatile again i feel like a quite a dissertation piece and why everyone needs a basic staple white shirt in their wardrobe because it goes with so much like i just love a white shirt and like whenever i go out and i'm wearing a white shirt josh is like oh it's the white shirt again because it just it goes it just works with everything it's so easy to chuck on if you're going out for dinner you've got this it's nice and loose and flowy so you're not going to get too full and if you do get too full and you're wearing jeans you can unbutton your jeans and no one's going to see you because the shirt covers it speaking from experience there um do it quite a lot um but anyway white shirt need i say more clear heels it works with jeans it works with blazers it works with literally everything that i've just shown in this haul not in this haul in this styling video works with a bag like it is just i love a white shirt again 
I'm a strong advocate for why everyone needs a white shirt in their wardrobe. And that is it for this Styling Zara Basics video. I love Zara and I love their basic items because they're so versatile and they just get them so right. Like, I know you could just buy a white shirt from Primark or you could buy your vest tops from Primark. And don't get me wrong, I do buy vest tops from Primark to wear like, under jumpers and to wear around the house. But if you're wanting a basic item that's going to look good, you're going to wear it time and time again. And you kind of want it to be part of your outfit rather than like a layering piece go to Zara. They might be a little bit more expensive than Primark, but the quality is there. They're going to last for a little bit longer and they fit a lot nicer. For example, the best tops. Um, I just absolutely love them. Just love Zara. I just love it. And we all know I just love it. But yeah, that's it for this styling Zara basics video. And I shall probably be seeing you very shortly with my Zara haul. Or with my next Zara haul, is what I mean to say, which is exciting. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you at some point soon another one. Bye!